Make this the best year ever with Read and Write. Getting a confident start to the new school year is important for every student, especially those with reading and writing difficulties, learning disabilities, or English as a second language. Whether on a PC, Mac, iPad, or mobile device, there's a Read and Write product to suit your needs. The Read and Write family of products can help your struggling reader or writer be more confident and more successful than ever. Read and Write Gold is text-to-speech software that provides tools for reading, writing, studying, and research, while students work within the common applications they use every day. Read and Write for Google provides support tools for Google Docs, PDFs and EPUBs in Chrome on PCs, Macs, and Chromebooks to make Google Apps for Education accessible. And I Read Write makes reading easier and ensures accurate writing as students use their iPad for school, work, or leisure. Give students the support they need wherever and whenever with Read and Write. Try it today! To learn more about how Read and Write can help your struggling students, visit texthelp.com or call one 888 Two four eight zero six five two. Again, that number is one eight 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 two four eight zero six five two. If you have students with IEPs, be sure to take advantage of the Read and Write Gold IEP Special. Who is this? Who are you trying to reach? What number is this? What number are you trying to reach? I don't know. I think you have the wrong number. Do I? It happens. Take it easy. Hello? I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. So why did you dial it again? To apologize. You're forgiven. Bye now. Wait, wait. Don't hang up. I need some help with some computer stuff. What? I want to talk to you for a second. They've got tech support numbers for that. See ya! Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Who is this? You tell me your name, and I'll tell you mine. I don't think so. I know enough about personal safety to not give out that sort of information to strangers, over the phone, over the internet, or really any other way. What's that noise? Popcorn. You're making popcorn? Uh Uh-huh. I only eat popcorn at the movies. I'm getting ready to watch a video. Really? What? Just some YouTube video. Do you like YouTube videos? Uh Uh-huh. What's your favorite YouTube video? I don't know. You have to have a favorite. Uh, I guess anything by Kid President. You know, the ones with the kid in the suit who just sort of walks around inspiring people with funny lines about life. Check them out at kidpresident.com. What's yours? Guess. Uh, how to dial a cell phone? Uh, That's funny. Is that one of those where the guy draws with a sharpie? Yeah, I was kidding. I think you're talking about Common Craft videos. Yeah, Common Craft, that's right. I like their videos. They explain everything. They have videos describing all sorts of topics like technology tools, social media, money management, how things work in society, and one you should be interested in, net safety. Yeah, they do a good job, but sometimes imitators of those videos just suck. There's a pretty good one that explains why open education matters. It gets at the heart of why learning on the internet needs to continue to be free, because it opens up so many possibilities for people around the world. You can watch it at bit.ly slash y-o-e-m. Not all media inspired by others sucks, you know. Yeah, whatever. I guess so. So, you got a boyfriend? (laughs) Why? You want to ask me out? Maybe. Do you have a boyfriend? No, not exactly. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? Because I want to know who I'm looking at. What did you say? I mean, I want to know who I'm talking to. That's not what you said. What do you think I said? You said you were looking at me. I meant on Instagram. How do you know what my name is on Instagram? How do you think I know? Listen, I have to go now. My popcorn is ready. Wait, I thought we were going to go out. Nah, I don't think so. Don't hang up on me. Gotta go. Wait, what's Snapchat? Don't hang... Yes? I told you not to hang up on me. What do you want? To talk. Did you know that ever since iOS 8 came out, people can send voice messages using iMessage? Students can record audio answers right on their phones and text them to their teachers. It's pretty sweet. Want to try it? I don't think so.
We're already talking on the phone. Most teachers wouldn't want to give out their text numbers to students. I suppose students could send voice messages to themselves with reminders. Anyway, I'm not interested. Try it with someone else, okay? Why? You getting scared? No. Bored. Listen, man. I just want to watch my... No, you listen. If you hang up on me again, you'll be sorry. Understand? How can I help you? Ugh. <sighs> Not, hey Siri, I said be sorry. Oh, silly Siri. Don't get angry at Siri. I like the whole new hey Siri feature. I like talking to my phone. Siri helps me dictate messages, schedule appointments, and complete all sorts of other tasks. She's great for helping me navigate my life. If you don't like the new feature where you can talk to her by just saying hey Siri, then you can turn it off in the general settings. I personally love it because I can do all those things hands-free as long as it's plugged into a power supply, which is how I now know you're plugged in somewhere. Yeah, I was murder trying to find an outlet up here. Do you really need all this stuff? I mean, really, do you need this life-size cutout of Daryl from The Walking Dead? Of course I do. Wait, what? Are you in my room? Is this some kind of joke? Look at your windows. What? Look at your windows. What do you mean? I mean, look at your windows. Oh, wait. You can't. You're using an Apple device. <laughs> See, that's a joke. I'm two seconds from calling the police. They never make it in time. I'm in your room, remember? Uh-huh. Sure. What do you want? To see what the insides of your computer look like. My computer? Are you a repairman? I don't need help with my computer. I can pretty much figure out whatever I need by looking it up online or asking someone in my social network. So listen, creep. I don't know who you are, but I think this has gone on long enough. I'm just going to flip down here and block you as a caller. That's an option on my phone, you know. And it's meant for times just like these. Oh, good. He hung up. Good riddance. <gasps> Who's there? Who's there? Figures no one would answer. Is he at the door in my room, or is he just lying altogether? Whatever. It's time for the police. <phone rings> Thought I blocked you. Look closely. It's a different number. And don't you know you should never say who's there? Don't you watch scary movies? Instead, go hide in a closet or something. Behind my Daryl standee? Not a bad idea. But look, enough is enough. You had your fun. Now you'd better leave me alone, or else. Or else what? My husband will be home any second, and he'll be angry when I tell him. I thought you didn't have a husband. I said I didn't have a boyfriend. That's the problem nowadays. People don't listen. They hear what they want to hear. I don't have a boyfriend, but I do have a husband. He'll be here any second, and you better be gone. Sure. I swear it. And he's big. Well, okay, he's not that big. But he's brave. Well... Okay, he's not that brave either, but he did play football for a few months back in high school on the JV team. And he'll, he'll, I don't know, he'll do something. Oh, I'm getting so scared. What's he going to do? Talk to me? Tell me some educational strategies to provide more options for students? Maybe he'll make me listen to a podcast like the Brains on Science podcast for kids over at bit.ly Brains on Science for Kids. Then I can learn all about science things in a fun, engaging format. Yeah, I'm shaking in my leather boots. I'm telling you the truth. He'll do something. Oh, I believe you. So you better leave. His name wouldn't be Chris, would it? How do you know his name? He says it at the beginning of just about every AT Tips Cast episode. Could the guy be more arrogant? Now, go to the back door and turn on the porch light. That's Chris out there. Hold on. Don't move. I'm coming. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Stay inside or Chris will get what's coming to him. As you can see, he's in a little bit of a sticky situation. His hands are tied. Where are you really? Yes. Please don't do this. That all depends on you. Why are you doing this? I want to play a game. No. Then I guess Chris gets it right now. No! Don't you dare! Which is it? What kind of game? Turn off the light. Now here's how we play. I ask a question. If you get it right, Chris doesn't move. If you get it wrong, well, that's that. Please don't do this. 
Come on, it'll be fun. No, please. It's an easy category. Technology trivia. Please. I'll even give you a warm-up question. Don't do this. I can't. Name one website you can use to make word clouds. No. Come on, I bet you use word clouds all the time to help students vary word choice. Name one. There are lots. I don't know. Come on. Yes, you do. Please, stop. Name one. I can't think. Uh, if you could see Chris's face right now, you'd be trying harder. Maybe you should turn the light back on so you can watch what happens. Tagcrowd.com. Yes! Uh. I would have thought you would have said Wordle.net, Tagzito.com, Taggool.com, or even WordedOut.com. But no, you went with a more obscure word cloud generator. How'd you pick that one? I use it with my students sometimes. I like how the visualizations are all horizontal and how it displays the frequency of the words used in the cloud. I like for the students to see the actual quantities. It's good data. Oh, I agree. I agree. Those are good reasons to use that site. But now it's time for the real question. No! But you're doing so well. Please go away. Leave us alone. Then answer the question. Same category. Please, no. What's the best way to adapt a worksheet for students who have trouble handwriting? I know this. I know this. You can scan it. Make a copy of it on the copy machine and email it to yourself or take a picture. Then you open a word processing program like Word or a drawing program like Google Drawing. Import the picture, set it as the background, and then use Use text boxes over the top of it to annotate the document. I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. No, it's not. I know people who use that exact strategy. That's the right answer. I'm afraid not. Special education teachers do it all the time. That's how you adapt a worksheet so students don't have to write on it. Students can type instead. I know teachers do it all the time, and they should know that's not the best way to adapt a worksheet. This is... The best way to adapt a worksheet for a student with handwriting difficulties is to plan a lesson that doesn't require a worksheet in the first place. No student wants to complete worksheets, design a learning experience that's more fun and engaging. That's the best way to adapt a worksheet. You tricked me! Lucky for you, there's a bonus round. But Chris, I'm afraid it's time for him to get what he deserves. No! <laughs> No! No! How could you? How could you? I was in love. I was in love. You took it all. You took all of it. Final question. Are you ready? Leave me alone, please. Answer the question and I will. Which door am I at? What? There are two doors to your house. A front door and a back door. If you answer correctly... I'll leave you in peace. Don't make me. I can't. I won't. Your call. Time to end this. You? And you? Both of you? That's right, Mom. It's just us. Yeah, we're just having some harmless fun. But how? We just use a voice changer app on our iPads to call you. Pretty slick, right? Yeah, Dad taught us. How could you do that to me? Well, it was Dad's idea. Hey, honey. You? I can't believe you. Come on, Mom. It's all just been good fun. I don't care about that, Mags. Dad sat out there in the backyard threatening to eat all of my Halloween chocolate. And then he did it. He ate all of it. Well, you did get the question wrong. Uh-oh, Dad. Mom's got that murderous look in her eye. Yeah, if looks could kill, you would be a goner. Get over here this instant! Run, Dad, run! But before you go, don't forget to say... I'll be right back. No, you have to say... Happy Happy Halloween Halloween from the AT Tips Cast! On a gathering storm comes a tall, handsome man In a dusty black coat with a red right hand 